welcome back to my channel so i'm trying to keep my promise of being consistent back on youtube again so this video is going to be essentials for your skincare routine now these specific products i'm about to show you guys don't necessarily have to be the ones to use but i i follow a lot of dermatologists on tiktok and i just thought i should relay the information so one of them is called i think the derm doc is his name and like he breaks down like the really three main concepts that everyone's skincare routine should include in a simplify more version so i'm just gonna get straight into the topics like the three concepts on my nails missing i'm sorry <laughs> that you should be focusing on is cleansing treating and protecting so cleansing can be like any cleanser that you want to use and depending on your skin specific problems that you want to fight like problem areas are in your skin you can use different products towards that but like i'm just going to show you guys a basic cleanser that i use which is the fenty skin cleanser so first one i'm going to talk to you guys about is cleansing you're going to want to have at least a good basic cleanser what i use right now is the fenty skin total cleanse it all remover this is almost done it's like the mini bottle um this removes all the dirt oils impurities everything it's also a non-codegemic non however you pronounce it basically translates over to it unclogs your pores it doesn't clog your pores and um just having a good basic cleanser now you can get like medicated cleansers to use like if you have like um acne issues that you're trying to target but i will get into another video with that because i want to do it separately for like depending on different issues that you may have but this is a good cleanser that works for me um i don't really use makeup remover wipes unless if i'm taking my makeup off at the gym but like it's a really good substitute for it day and night okay so next is gonna be we're gonna go into the treat category so i'm gonna start with like i guess i could do like a duo like i'm gonna just say whether i would think more so for nighttime or daytime for this specific product so what i'm gonna start with is my eye cream i use it both day and night but i would say probably use it in the nighttime i have a lot of pacifica products so i'm not sponsored but <laughs> this is pacifica wake up beautiful it's their retinoid eye cream so retinoids are super good for your skin i don't know about you girlies i'm only 22 but i don't want to look old when i'm old so and black don't crack so that's already a beneficial bonus but still retinoids help with reducing fine lines and wrinkles um it helps produce collagen and it, like the turnover for superficial skin scales it like speeds it up so like your skin looks more brighter more fresher more younger and for longer so retinoids i feel like especially introducing them into your skincare routine while you're young and since this is what i use for my eye cream I definitely feel like I've seen the difference between, um, you know, I don't be getting that much sleep as I should, so like my eye bags is terrible. But like using this a lot has helped a lot. And Pacifica, their brand is like cruelty free, 100% vegan. Like it's really cute, and they always have super cute graphics on their products. Like you see these little clouds. Uh, y'all probably can't see them. I might do like a separate video because y'all can't see them. Yeah, there you go. You see the little clouds. Like it's cute. So why would you not? But yeah, it's probably more smarter to use in the nighttime. Retinoids are a good thing to start into your skincare. Um, I think another like um, retinoids like trentinoin or something, and it kind of has like the same benefits to reap. But that is definitely something to incorporate into the treat phase. And then there's also vitamin C serum. I also use Pacifica for it. So this is the vitamin C serum. So vitamin C is super important to add into your skincare routine. I feel like it's kind of a given to have it in your morning skin routine. But basically, it's also for anti-aging properties. It's also good if you take it in vitamin form too for your body, but I'm just gonna talk about skincare. And for skincare, it helps with brightening your skin up, helping with wrinkles, sagging, dryness, uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation. It helps aid in all of that. And it just, it's like a super beneficial like vitamin to have in your skincare routine and as a serum. And then of course, if you have it as like a, I like the vitamin C gummies, it's good for you. It's re it really is. So making sure to have a good vitamin c serum in your morning routine game changer next in the treat category i'm gonna have is niacinamide so this is the brand that i got from target and niacinamide 
I honestly, I started using it because Lori Harvey said that it helps to minimize her pores like a while ago on Instagram. This is before she had her skincare TikTok and I was like, yeah, bet. Cause if Lori says it, I'm gonna get it. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it really does. Um, like a, a really huge thing that I use it for is to help minimize pore appearance, like my pores. Um, over time, it's supposed to help minimize them, but it also just like kind of hides it a little bit. So that's good. And then it also helps with like blemishes, with redness. Um, it helps with oil reduction. If you have oily skin like I do, it helps with maintaining it and like reten. It also helps with moisture retention. So if you have dry skin, you can also use it to help retain whatever moisture that that or like any other moisturizers that you're using like putting it on afterwards it will help retain that moisture but for me specifically i use it for my pores and i use it to help reducing my oily skin and like i wish i used it more often because i saw somewhere that you're not supposed to use it every day so i use it twice a week i want to start using it more often because i feel like it would help my pores go down even more if i use it like maybe every other day instead of two to three times a week not even three times a week i was only doing it twice a week so if i do it like every other day i feel like my pores would be a lot more smaller and you know my oily forehead no more and i'm gonna have everything that i'm showing you guys linked in my bio but if you guys do get this one this brand is called Naturium. um if you do get this realize that it opens and it has a nozzle i've had this for months and I found out this week that it has a nozzle. I just, I was trying to open it too hard. So I would just always take it out. Oh my God, now it's not coming off at all when I'm trying to show you guys on video. Anyways, I was opening it. So like the nozzle, I would never see it. I just thought like the, the actual, like, I don't know how to describe it. I just thought the inside you were just supposed to pour it out. I didn't know I had a fucking nozzle. So don't be like me. I actually open it from the top and squirt it on that's how you're supposed to use it i didn't know that the next thing on my list for treating your skin is going to be collagen serum and this is also a pacifica product like i said not sponsored at all i just have a lot of their stuff from ulta but yeah i love collagen like i'm scared to drink it as a smoothie because i have hormonal acne prone skin so i'm kind of scared to try the like edible version like of like putting it in a smoothie like having the collagen smoothies i don't know if it's gonna break me out but collagen basically is a protein that's already found within your body collagen is really good it's something that your body already makes but as soon as you hit your 20s your body starts to reduce the production of collagen over time and it kind of speeds it up if you drink if you smoke pollution stress basically all the factors of life but um having it in your skincare routine so i use it literally every night the benefits of it is like reducing fine lines wrinkles of course we already know that but like it improves skin elasticity it makes your skin more tighter makes it more smoother makes it just more younger looking and like i i just plan to use collagen throughout the rest of my life <laughs> until i'm like old and gray like 80s i want to use collagen because imagine how good my skin look will look and i might give into my fears and insecurities and start using the powder collagen and like you can get collagen from like eating like protein rich foods and stuff so it's like it's something that your body makes it's just making sure that your body isn't losing it more than you're making it that's right that's really my goal but definitely having collagen in your nighttime routine baby the skin is gonna stay smooth and supple forever but forever next on my treat product list is going to be hyaluronic acid so i kind of kind of think of this kind of like collagen that's in my night routine but i use this in the daytime so hyaluronic acid y'all probably already know hydrate skin pumps the skin keeps it fresh looking um hyaluronic acid is also something that the body already ma naturally makes so just adding on to it to keep your skin more hydrated it retains moisture as well hyaluronic acid also helps with like um evening your skin tone out and stuff and just keeping your skin moisturized and in this specific one this brand is called danielle creations if you could see it but it also has collagen and niacinamide in the ingredients list for this product so it's kind of like a three-in-one but i still want to use each of them i want to give each of them their shine on my skin 
each of them has a rule <laughs> but it has all three in them so like hyaluronic acid if you didn't want to get all the extra products i would say to get a hyaluronic acid that has all three of those ingredients in it if that's what you really want like to treat and target in your skincare so last category in this simplified process of what a good skincare routine should look like is going to be the protect stage so y'all saw how i mix some of the serums up like sometimes i use it in the daytime sometimes i use it at nighttime but for the protect stage especially when it comes to moisturizers you actually got to be careful with that so like for example it's good to use like a cream based moisturizer in the nighttime so i abide by the fenty i'm going to show you guys the night recovery time um cream because it's more heavier um a lot of the as it's really good to use in the nighttime because more of the products are heavier if you use in the daytime some of the stuff that's in it could make you more sensitive to the sun you're not going to be protected with like spf stuff but if you use it at nighttime your skin's working harder to replenish whatever you lost during the day so they usually jam pack all those all those like active ingredients into nighttime ones and it's more moisturizing and stuff because your skin's gonna absorb that all at night while you're sleeping because that's its job but you're not gonna want to use that type of stuff in the daytime because your skin's gonna feel greasy it's gonna feel heavy it's just not gonna be good and you're and like i said you might be sensitive to the sun more with your skin but like a daytime thing like i'm gonna show you guys as well from the fenty collection as well i just i can't leave ruby alone so like for example the fenty toner well it's said you can use it in the night nighttime too but i usually use it in the daytime it's also has niacinamide is one of the main active ingredients in this so one of the main things it says well it's faded now but pore refining because it helps with your pores niacinamide is active ingredient for your pores it helps to reduce your pores appearances instantly refines the look of pores reduces the look of dark spots even skin tone and invites shine without stripping the skin that's something i would want to wear more in the daytime um it's more of a lighter formula i feel like the fat bar water well i also don't use too much of it in the day so that's also probably why the fenty skin this is definitely something you want to use in the daytime because it has spf 30 within this product and it, a lot of Fen um, fenty products have niacinamide as one of the main active ingredients and again it's like for your pores and then also with the moisturizer, it's said to brighten your skin tone, it's to make your skin softer, it's to help with um, dark spots, just a lot of stuff like that. So this is definitely something I would recommend using in the daytime. And like I want to get more into like mineral based sunscreen products, but I want to finish these out. But yeah, I, I really do enjoy the Fenty skin. It's just like I feel like my skin has like a higher level it's supposed to be at. And it was good, but yeah and then like i said acne is something that i constantly battle with so i'm gonna make a separate video on the acne products that i've been using so far that i got from tiktok and tell you guys how that worked for me but yeah that was pretty much everything just so you know like basically the good structure of a simplified skincare routine that everyone should have is products that are going to cleanse treat and protect your skin literally as long as you follow that basis i feel like you'll be golden i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe comment and let me know what's your favorite skincare product and i hope you guys come back love you guys